A West Valley City company hoping to change the way people think about silencers on guns. The company is the world leader in making a variety of gun suppressors for different types of weapons. Well, tonight we take you inside the story, or maybe better, behind the scenes of this fast-growing business. Dan Ruscone joins us with more. Are these silencers even legal, Dan? Yeah, Mark Chata, that seems to be the big question they get from consumers all the time. Is it legal? The answer is yes, they are legal, but they are actually more difficult to get than guns. But that's not stopping this young entrepreneur from growing his dream business. At just 36 years old, Josh Waldron is CEO to one of the fastest growing companies in Utah. I make silencers for firearms. Right now, he's on track to pump out more than 40,000 silencers this year. We are undisputed the market leaders in our space. Each one is made right here in his newly expanded 72,000 square foot building in West Valley. We looked around and, and found that silencers were a very untapped market. Most people in the U.S. don't even know that they are legal to purchase. It all starts with the raw material and moved from one machine to the next including the engraving of each product, until eventually the suppressor comes into view. What is a silencer, basically? What does it do? Well, basically, it's like a muffler for a car, but in this case, it's a muffler for a gun. Waldron's company makes 14 different silencers. This is the Spectre II. Each one of them. And then we have our very famous uh, Osprey. Fits a specific type of gun. This is the 12-gauge uh, shotgun silencer. The shotgun suppressor just came out in July. Very, very proud of this one. Waldron says the main reason for a silencer, hearing protection. We went to the shooting range to see the difference. Here's a handgun without a silencer. And with one. Yeah, big difference. This is a 1022 without suppressor. This is 1022 with suppressor. This is an AR-15 without suppressor. This is AR-15 with suppressor. According to OSHA, anything over 140 decibels can cause hearing loss. Your typical shotgun runs about 160 decibels. With a suppressor, it's about 130. A young CEO who started in a garage with an idea and one machine. Now just six years later, he has $11 million in machinery and a staff of 130 employees. His goal, change the way people think about silencers. If we can get the idea out there to consumers uh, that guns don't have to be loud, it's a real, it's a paradigm shift for us. Yeah, big difference there. Waldron silencers can be found in most major gun shops in Utah. Surprisingly, only about 7% of gun stores across the country actually carry silencers. Waldron says the shotgun suppressor is a real hit with hunters because with the dogs there, because not only protects their ears, but also keeps the dog from going death. For more information on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to our website, KUTV.com, click on Features and Inside the Story. But the microphones don't really give it quite yeah. the justice because it, they don't pick up quite the sounds that we hear with our ears, but it, there's a difference. Yeah. And also, you, when you think of silencers, you think something diabolical, like all those secret agents yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when you're using those silencers. That's so you think right. you think it can't be legal, but right. it is legal. Yeah, yeah, it is It is legal, and that's a big question he always gets. Are you, do people just buy these for secret sure. agent things? But no, they're used for other things.